reporting from Tel Aviv at a vegan restaurant where Donna and I are joined by Addie Gill and this fan of Addie Gill's having an absolutely fantastic vegan lunch, uh, surrounded by animals and very compassionate. Oh, oh wow, look at this. This is our food showing up. This is our vegan food. This is absolutely delicious. What are you serving us? So we have tofu scrambled um, three times. And this is our fresh bread. It's made out of whole wheat. We have mangled. We have hazelnut butter, which we make here. Wow. We have tahini with turmeric. Aioli made out of sunflower seeds. Pesto out of um, snowballing. I don't know the English word. Uh, and we have sun dried tomato, olives, and avocado. And it's all vegan. All vegan. Oh. Cruelty free. Wow. Okay. Just entered the Muslim quarter of the old city of Jerusalem. Hello. Wow, look at this. Very cool. Look at all these spices. Oh, that smells so good. Lots of fruits and vegetables. We like that. We love <laughs> that. The pomegranate juice. You want to taste the pomegranate juice? Oh, yeah, I would love to. But the baby boom of uh, veganism here started, uh, I think, in 2012, okay? I think yeah, this is the next thing, you know? It's the next big thing. Exactly. Why do you For think sure. it's happening here so much? Well, because, uh, because it's, like, I think, first of all, it's in, you know? It's kind of a, like a, something which is really fashion, okay? It's really in and cool to say, okay, I'm vegan. I think this is uh, one reason. <laughs> and second, because uh, people can't start to like, realize that what we are doing to the, to the animals, it's, it's really bad, you know? We are taking uh, advantage of them, we're killing them for our own needs. And this is really bad, you know, poorly and, and healthily. It's not good. <laughs> it looks like a big slice. Mm. Delicious. I will. Hold on a second. Let's see. Mm. Oh my God. Ah, this is so delicious. Vegan pizza can be as delicious as any other pizza in the world. More delicious. I am here with the leaders of an incredible group, Anonymous for Animal Rights in Israel. We're going to a, a very fabulous veg restaurant and um, we're going to talk about all the amazing things that are happening with animal rights in Israel. So uh, it's such a pleasure to meet you. Come on in Donna, let's go. So we've got vegetarian and vegan options here. 
and we see this everywhere we go in Israel. Every, almost every restaurant has these different options. I think our food's coming. Let's see. Whoa! Wow, that that looks gorgeous. That's the four cheeses. It will be. <laughs> okay. Oh wow. oh wow. So what is that? Uh, that's a vegan uh, Israeli breakfast. Uh, it's called uh, shakshuka. Uh, but uh, it's usually made with eggs, but uh, in the vegan ver version it's made with uh, tofu. Oh, fabulous. Okay, take a look at this veggie burger. The ketchup is a bit spicy. Um, I'll bring this in a sec. I want you to check out this. Tell me that that doesn't look like the heartiest burger you could ever have, but there's no dead animal in here. This is absolutely healthy, so that means it has zero cholesterol, uh, less calories, and tell me, tell me, look at this. This looks darn good, doesn't it? Who would say this isn't a really fabulous burger? These are three vegan cheeses and they're made out of olives and a vegan feta and smoked onions and they look absolutely delicious. This is a mushroom soup with uh, lima beans. Yeah, mushroom soup with lima beans. Oh, looks delicious. It tastes good, yeah, it smells really good. Really, really. All right, bon All right. dig in, dig in, everybody. Mm. Mm. Delicious. Mm. Uh, this is, seems delicious. I think it's a pecan pie and ice cream, so it seems really good. I'll just eat it. <laughs> That's delicious. I have to say, I've been vegan for about thir three and a half years. Vegan desserts are way better than non-vegan desserts. They always have been. They they are more creative. They are more tasty. I don't know what it is about them, but vegan desserts top all desserts. Jane Velez Mitchell for Jane Unchained, and I am here in one of the oldest neighborhoods in all of Tel Aviv, Israel, and I am with Ronan Barr, who is one of the leaders of Anonymous for Animal Rights, an amazing animal rights group in Israel. How did you get into it, Ronan? I started reading about factory farming, and I refused to believe it. I said, no way, they're killing chicks, millions of chicks every year in Israel in grinding machines. No, this has to be false. So I went in to see it with my own eyes and I realized that it's much worse when you see it, when you smell it, when you feel it, when you worked at factory farming and I worked at a slaughterhouse and an abattoir and the chicken coops. It's worse, it's worse than, 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 than you can imagine. imagine. It's, it's uncomprehendable what we are what doing, we are to, doing these to these animals. So there is no way I will ever pay for someone to torture animals again. So I went vegan, and this was like eight years ago, maybe something like that. And now you're the leader of one of the leading animal rights groups in Israel. If everybody had to work at a slaughterhouse, we'd all be vegan. I worked at a slaughterhouse, I know how it is. If you had to take the dismembered head of a baby cow or of a lamb with your own hands, we will all be vegan. Israel, I am happy to say, is in the midst of a vegan revolution. And so many people are going vegetarian and vegan. There are so many vegetarian and vegan restaurants. Tell us about it, Ronan. You saw it, it's everywhere. You know, you go to a restaurant, you see vegan menus, you see uh, vegan dishes, and they point out that it's vegan. Like, it's amazing. Four years ago, you would have gone to a restaurant, you would have said, I'm vegan, please give me something to eat. They said, you don't eat sugar? What do you want? And now today, no, it's it's a whole uh, a whole different uh, uh, area. What's happening? What are the stats? It's amazing. It's just amazing. We have, polls show that we have 5% vegan, 8% vegetarian. That means more than a million Israelis who stopped eating animals, who don't eat uh, animals. It's amazing. And almost a quarter has cut their meat consumption. So the, the road is very clear you know I am so excited about the vegan revolution in Israel and I know it's spreading to the US we're gonna take it there I am here in Tel Aviv with Zippy 
Livni, a woman who very well may be uh, the Prime Minister of Israel in the not too distant future. We certainly hope so. And what I was so excited to learn was that you are a vegetarian. Yes, I am, since I was 13. What inspired you to become a vegetarian? Uh, I read a story as a child about the way they killed the chicken. And later on, I, my mother took me to the market and I saw, you know, them hanging there and I said, okay, I cannot eat this. Uh, inhuman to eat, uh, to eat them. I love animals. I adore cats. <laughs> and, and there were so uh, many in Israel. Yes. Uh, so I stopped uh, eating meat. Well, that is such an inspiration and I just want to say that we've been here in Israel and there is so much vegetarianism going on. We uh, understand that 5% uh, of the people are vegan, another 8% are vegetarian, and uh, a huge percent have cut back on their meat consumption. So it seems like Israel's leading the way in compassion. I hope so, because I truly believe that this is, uh, it tells about what, what kind of um, human being uh, you are. Uh, so uh, basically I judge, uh, uh, men and women, not only in accordance to what we s they say, but in accordance to the way they behave to animals. And uh, I believe that this can make us a better people. Well, from your mouth to God's ear, I just okay. want to say thank you. And Thanks. I really am going to pray that you thank leave you. this nation because I think that compassion and also a woman's voice is so important in this world. So thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> you're, the, you're the fabulous chef, and it's all vegan and it's all fabulous. All vegan. Wow. Home cooking. Vegan home cooking right yes. here in Tel Aviv. No eggs, no meat, no nothing. <laughs> Just look at vegetables. Just vegetables. That is so beautiful. So we've got salad, we've got eggplant, we've got avocado, we've got cabbage, we've got... Uh, hummus and cauliflower and it's all delicious and let's see what we have over here what what have you got whipped up for us here oh this is a soup soup oh that looks beautiful what kind? delicious and is there anything in here we could see and then I'll, let's see let's see i'm waiting for the focaccia one of the hottest hottest clubs happens to be a vegan restaurant by the name of nanushka hi Thank you.